everyone welcome back to my channel happy christmas and happy new year it's been about three weeks since i was last on my youtube account Woo! i had covid for a short while and then i've just been so busy we actually hosted christmas so we had loads of people here and i just feel like i've not had a chance to stop so here i am after new year recording my first vlog of the year well actually this is a new one this isn't actually my vlog so i had a very exciting christmas with some lovely presents but one of them in particular is something that i want to share with you so my lovely fiance ollie who if you've watched these vlogs before or follow me on instagram you've probably seen him about but he's not particularly horsey he just helps me out and yeah he's a good egg anyway he has been very busy and although i haven't been filming stuff he has <laughs> so right here where i am now is where we opened our christmas presents and in front of me is a big tv and after i'd opened my presents ollie gave me my last one sat me down and then started to turn the tv on and i was like what is he doing and anyway tv pops on and up comes my introduction to my vlogs so i'm like what is going on anyway next thing ollie pops out in a wig he's on my yard with my horse <laughs> with some very exciting news so i'm not going to tell you everything because i'm going to show you in just a few minutes but honestly i think i just i laughed and cried through the whole thing it is so hilarious and bless him he put so much time and effort into it Despite all the lovely presents that I got, the vlog is by far the best present I think I have ever had. So here we go. I'm going to share with you Ollie's vlog, his first ever vlog. And I'm going to show you my reaction as I watched it on the day because he also recorded me <laughs> while I was laughing and crying. So yeah, here we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got some very exciting news today. I've um I've been and bought a horse and um and here he is. This is Barry. <laughs> what? Harry. 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 I, th I thought it was Barry. No, no, Barry. <laughs> right. And this is Harry. He's a uh, he's a six year old brown X race horse. What now? Bay. 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 Bay's not a colour. Bay's not even a colour. It's it's bay trees. Bay trees are green. I've, I haven't just bought a green horse, have I? So this is Harry. He is a six year old bay X racer and we're going to be doing a little bit of dressage together. He's, um, he's not been doing a huge amount with his old owner, there's not a huge amount of talent going on there, but I'm sure with my experience we can, um, we can get him fl doing flying changes and, 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 and piafing in no time. Can't wait! So I'm just going to muck out now and then we'll get him tapped up and we will go for a quick ride, won't we? Yes we will! Thank you. 
Oh my god, what's your video? Curry? It's pretty normal. Normal? Nothing about that was normal. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh, well, <laughs> at least that's done for the week now. Yeah, you've got an everyday job there, man. Every day? Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
you know, I, I think I've discovered what the problem was. Um, we, had, we had the wrong saddle. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, it was a lovely saddle, but it's a jump saddle, and obviously I was trying to do some dressage with him. So, you know, what he needs now is a new saddle to really kick on with his dressage. And I've got a vlog exclusive for you here. Here it is. The Cavaletti Mono Flap Dressage Saddle. And I'll be reviewing this on my next vlog. So please do like, subscribe, comment, um, follow me and Harry on our new journey, on our new saddle. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> turned off it still had the label on it so if, oh! we if we took the label off you'd know and it would be chewed up so I had to go and buy you a replacement bit oh my god <laughs> so that's that's been used once oh my god <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that as much as me obviously you can see my reaction I was just so shocked and obviously so excited um I just literally couldn't believe that he'd actually gone to all of that effort so it started at your horse live where obviously me and hannah from wizzy welsh spent the day and one of the things we did is we went to the cavaletti stand and we went to go and meet the team and i had a little sit on a dressage saddle um as you can see here so that's me sat in this saddle for the first time and I think my words were this is but heaven <laughs> and so I was speaking to Julie from Cavaletti and I said oh my god I would love a dressage saddle so I've already got the Cavaletti jump mono flap saddle and I just love it and um, but obviously we've been doing a lot of dressage recently and having a dressage saddle would just make things so much easier and hopefully more comfortable harry's got huge great big movement and sometimes i just feel like i could do with a little bit more security just to properly hold me into that saddle because obviously your jump saddle allows you to be able to move in and out of the saddle with ease it's nice and open a long flat seat whereas the dressage saddle with those great big knee rolls and nice big deep seat i'm hoping it's going to hold me in and really help me out so after speaking to julie I'd said, oh God, this is on my wish list, but I just can't afford one right now. So I went home, spoke to Ollie, and I was like, oh my God, I sat in the most comfortable dressage saddle. Next year, I am going to save up and get myself one. Little did I know, Ollie was making notes, I'm guessing, throughout the conversation. He then went on to Instagram, I think he spoke to Julie and the team, and between those two, they must have planned and schemed to get a dressage saddle ready and sent out to me in time for the big reveal on Christmas Day. Because I know when I spoke to Julie, she said, we are totally sold out. So if you want one, put on an order now, and hopefully for next year, we'll have one in for you. So, I mean, thank you, Julie. I'm guessing you pulled the stops out to make this happen. And, oh my God. Anyway. Here it is. <laughs> and they also sent me a lovely 
Camelotti Numner to go with my new dress I saddle because obviously all I've got at the moment are like jump shaped saddle pads. I wouldn't even have a saddle pad to fit a dress I saddle, but <laughs> look at this. And they sent me the lovely fleece lined saddle cover to keep it all nice and safe and clean. And I promised to look after it. But look at this. Look at these knee rolls. Isn't that just gorgeous? <laughs> so me and Harry now have a dressage saddle. I just can't wait to actually ride in it. I'm so excited. So on Saturday, in a few days time, me and Harry are going to head over to Patrick Wilkinson's, which is our local saddle fitter and we're going to go and have the saddle fitted and have our first ever ride in it. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I'm absolutely blown away. I'm blown away by everyone's efforts and all the time it's been put in. The fact that I actually have a dressage saddle. <sighs> anyway, stay tuned guys, because coming up over the next few days, I will be recording my first ever ride in a dressage saddle and god knows i haven't ridden in a dressage saddle for probably five years if not more so let's be honest i'm probably going to ride like a bag of spanners it might take a bit of time for me to get used to it so yeah i'm sure you all have a, a laugh at my expense watching me struggle to ride with nice long straight legs but i'm hoping with some practice <laughs> will make friends and this is going to change my life my dressage life so yeah stay tuned on saturday this week i'm going to be going having this saddle fitted and on sunday we've got our first dressage competition of the year and the plan is is to wear this new dressage saddle <laughs> in at the deep end but why not let's just go for it it's just a little training out in um something to get us going and a reason to get out and use this little bad boy so yeah i'm gonna say goodbye i hope you've all enjoyed that i'm absolutely blown away and i just can't thank cavaletti enough and obviously my lovely ollie for going to the effort wearing the wig my lovely friend leo who helped record the whole thing and keep ollie in check by the sounds of it and stop him from tearing around the arena on my lovely harry Burr. So I hope you've all had a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And I absolutely wish the best for all of you in 2023. I can't believe it's 2023. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you enjoyed. Love you all. Bye.